Hello everyone. So um, let's start and um, start from the roll call. So I see Alan, Alan Afrenik, Andre from Ripe, um, Craig from AP Nick, John from Aaron, Michael from Aaron, Luanda from Afrenik, Lu Luani from Ripe, all from Ripe. So um, these are all the people that I see um, who are at the call as the Chris team. And I, of course, I see um, in our secretariat joining us um, to support us. Um, so thank you very much to the our secretariat as well. And uh, we, we do have very tight agenda, uh, considering that we have uh, quite a tight uh, timeline until the deadline from this stage. So I'd like to be quick. Um, so. Um, Actions review. I, I, I recall Oriana, you sent me the on the notes from the eleventh meeting, and I think that's still waiting for my approval. And um, um, any other minutes that is outstanding that um, needs my approval? No, right now those are the only ones that are outstanding. I'm working on the ones from the twelfth and the fifteenth. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Um, and um, um, to be is header of the proposal. Um, this by this I meant cover letter, and I actually um, added this as a separate agenda on um, um, reviewing this. So um, we'll, we'll cover this. And um, so I'd like to go through the, um, the the rest of the agenda, which is um, agenda item three four. Um, I'd like to have Bill take over this part, um, um, and but maybe you can use the material that I have shared so that people have something to see and uh, and read and comment rather than just uh, hearing verbally. It's uh, quite important that people um, accurately understand the status and know what needs to be addressed um, in addition um, from the latest version. So I, I do strongly encourage that uh, uh, we use the material, and so we confirm um, the summary of our comments, status, and so what needs to be incorporated, and outstanding issues that needs to be discussed, uh, which again I sent uh, the list uh, to. Um, um, I, th I think I, I sent the list. Um, definitions. Thank you so much, Paul, for working on them in such a uh, short time. Um, We'll quickly go through if anybody wants to raise something out of um, the definitions that have been shared. And uh, since, again, we're working very um, tight timeline, unless um, people have strong issues, we, we just uh, basically go with the current uh, draft and um, maybe we want to set a, a time until we, we fix a definition. And then uh, a confirmation about the announcement cover letter, uh, whether we should do separate or not. I think we do have consensus on separating from the proposal, but let's reconfirm um, what we do with the issues list. And then uh, next step, including our reconfirmation about who will the pen uh, after this. And we confirm um, timeline, which I shared um, with the updated version. So that's what we'd like to cover, and um, yes, indeed, great, great work on the gloss, uh, gloss report. And um, so, let's confirm summary of the comment status and confirm um, since what comments have been um, uh, incorporated and what has not uh, not yet been incorporated uh, since build version seven. So, um, so let me just uh, do a quick recap and then hand over to Bill, okay? Um, so um, my understanding is um, Paul's, uh, no, no, uh, Bill's uh, version 7, um, I'm not totally sure if it incorporates all of uh, Paul's uh, comment, uh, which was uh, sent with this uh, document, uh, document uh, name. Um, uh, so please double check. And um, I did list outstanding issues here. So if there are not, um, besides the outstanding issues, I think the, the agreement is we, we incorporate all of Paul's comments. And I hi highlighted the ones that needs confirmation. Um, I hope that is good. 
Um, and then on Andre's suggestion about uh, Section 3A3, three, uh, three, I believe, about um, the principles on the uh, IANA um, service level agreement. Um, that's the part that covers about IPR. And um, I think there was agreement on Andre's text, so this needs to be reflected in this section. So uh, be careful, it's not to incorporate in um, Section 3A2, but it's for Section 3A3. Um, so it's, the, it's one of the principles to be listed as a service level agreement. And then um, we also want to incorporate um, Alan's comment, uh, which he sent uh, on, um, with his uh, file name and um, definitions should be added. And I also saw uh, a draft that was uh, shared um, with, uh, by Paul on behalf of Nurani. And so um, this is not on this uh, sheet over here. So these are the things that, in my understanding, have not been incorporated in uh, Bill's version 7. Uh, Bill, uh, would you be able to um, give us further update? Me. I don't think Bill is on the call right now. <laughs> okay, I yeah, got it. Um, okay. Um, okay, maybe um, a poll. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi, Izumi. Thank you. I just wanted to, to let you know that, yeah, I can see that those are some outstanding items. Um, if they could be incorporated, uh, and I know it's a little bit early to say this, but I just wanted to throw it out there. If those can be incorporated, I would be fine, and I would move to freeze the document. I will not provide any further edits because I, I do believe we really need to move on. So um, I'm hoping those can be incorporated if everyone agrees to them, and then I will back away and let this thing uh, be produced in its final copy. Thank you. Thank you, um, Paul. Um, has everyone had a chance to take a look at uh, um, um, Paul and Rani's uh, version? Or uh, Andre? Uh, thank you, Zimi. Well, to answer your question, yes, I had, and I support uh, Paul's and Rani's uh, suggested changes. Um, I, I raised my hand for um, uh, another reason. Uh, just to make clear about the possible inconsistency uh, for regarding the intellectual property rights, uh, in fact, it, uh, the, suggest, the suggested amendments, they affect both uh, Section 3A2 and Section 3A3, the principles. Uh, so the idea is actually to move uh, all uh, substance uh, into the Section uh, 3A2, where we specify all different facets of the um, uh, intellectual property and data rights, and also specify the destinations. So, in fact, the principle can be very simple, just referring to Section 3A2, uh, which has all the substance. So, it actually affects both. Thank you. Well, thank you for this clarification. And um, I understood that uh, concept. And um, but it still doesn't uh, affect the, uh, the suggested uh, text of um, Section 3A2. That's my understanding. So, of course, we, we need to check the inconsistency, but um, there's no suggested text changes for Section 3A2. Um, there is no running. Oh, Izumi, sorry. Uh, there is uh, one suggestion. We suggested that the ownership of non-public uh, um, uh, data related to registries is transferred to the RIOS, and that's the suggestion in Section 3A2, I believe. Oh, understood. Okay. Um, I think uh, we want to com uh, avoid confusion at the last minute, so just, or maybe clear to everybody else except me, but uh, um, if, Andre, you could uh, resend uh, this, including uh, A3A2 3A2 and 3A3, um, three uh, principles, um, and uh, so it's clear with, um, what to um, change with both parts. It would be very helpful, I think, for the person who will be holding the pen. Yes, Thank I will you. do that. Thank you. And um, so we've done um, Andre, and um, so I see for, um, 
and from from Milwani, I think you are next. Milwani. Hello, and thank you, all you sleep deprived colleagues. Uh, to speak to you again. Um, first of all, uh, yes, I support Andre's comments. Very good, very clear. Um, I'm good with that. I also support uh, Paul's comment about uh, a free. And then just a, a general comment, and I'm sorry, Alan, I haven't managed to go through all of your uh, comments. There have been so many emails. Uh, but I would like to, as a general comment, say, because I think that most of my comments and most of Alan's comments uh, were, there were some uh, minor tidying of language and things like that, um, that I don't think are controversial, and I'm happy to, you know, accept those, and I'm also happy, I'm not going to insist on any of uh, my editorial comments uh, since we're so late in the game. But I think most of the comments made by uh, me and Alan as well were actually not about introducing new changes, new, new text into the uh, latest version, but it was actually about existing te text, existing agreed text that had been changed. And for those things, I think it's really important to to know it's been changed. And if in doubt, I'd like to that we apply as a principle to revert to the existing agreed text. Maybe that can help us um, guide us forward in um, between this version, which I'm I'm actually not quite sure which what the status of the current version is. So that's something I'd really like to get yeah. clarification on. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Um, yes, I think uh, the basic agreement is that we, we stick to the version that um, we have agreed, um, um, which is um, we, we basically keep Michael's version, and then um, if there's any um, um, dis disagreement or, um, any, um, or comments about this, and I, I believe um, your earlier version, Nuran, I think uh, your, your changes have been already incorporated uh, in Bill's um, version uh, 7, and you have additional comments uh, which you, you sent um, just uh, uh, um, a couple of um, minutes ago. That, that's my understanding. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, yes to both of those. I think uh, I agree that what was in Michael's version, that is all agreed text, to my understanding. So if in doubt, if there's, there's any discussion or any anyone brings up any wording, we revert to uh, the existing agreed text in Michael's version. Uh, and yes, I think my previous comments were um, have been dealt with the ones on the latest version that we got um, from uh, Bill, which is earlier today. Um, yeah, they need to be dealt with, and, and I don't know what the what the status is between I think it was Bill's version seven and where we are now. So that was what I was seeking clarification. Thank you. Yes, um, thank you, Nurani. And so, um, um, I think it's very important we all agree that we revert back to the version that we have agreed um, um, in terms of the wording. So. Um, so that is Michael's version. Um, so if there's any doubt, that that is our default decision. So um, I hope that that is uh, clear to everybody. And um, um, I, I see a couple of um, hands up still from um, Alan and Bill. But um, I just want to do a, a reconfirmation about the status of the, the current uh, document and what needs to be updated after we go through the hand. So let's go to Alan. Okay, thanks. Um, I put up my hand a little earlier while we were talking about Andre's text about IPR. Um, but I can also talk about the document in general. I'm not sure, you know, maybe we're on that now. Um, okay, so about the document in general, uh, I've reviewed the comments from almost everybody, and I've, uh, except I've not yet reviewed 
Paul's um, definitions or glossary, and I agree with almost all the text that I've seen going through the mailing list, um, although I've commented in a few places. So I'm happy with the way things are going. Um, I'm happy with almost all the work that Bill has done. I made comments on things that I thought um, needed changes. And I think most of my comments were about uh, terminology, uh, where we we should be trying to use terms consistently. Um, there might have been a few substantive comments, but I don't remember them now. Um, And then I see Bill asking questions in the chat. Um, when we talk about Michael's version, I believe we mean uh, the version that Michael sent to Bill uh, in the middle of the night, my time, um, I suppose around yeah, late yesterday UTC. Um, is there any me to, yes, to um, talk about the IPR changes? Just, um, sure, uh, Alan, please. Okay, so about the, the IPR, um, I think there's a substantive change being suggested there which we need to agree on, um, and that is um, we previously said that some of the uh, IPR would be transferred to a successor operator if if the you know, if there's a successor, if it ever gets transferred away from ICANN. And now in Andre's proposal, that won't happen. Um, so, so the possible destinations for IPR are um, the public domain, a neutral organization like the IETF Trust, or the RIRs. I think that's uh, in Andre's current proposal. Whereas in the earlier version, there was also a case where some of it would go, would remain with the operator and would be transferred to a successor operator. So I just want us to be clear that we no longer need that. We no longer need any IPR to remain with the operator. Noted, Alan. Um, thank you for this uh, clarification. Uh, and I think um, Andre's text uh, reflects this um, element. And as Andre has clarified, I think um, this is something, uh, not a new concept, it's something that we have agreed and uh, Andre's text has simply um, clarified. So um, before we move on to the, the substance of um, each of the, the issues that um, we might want to um, confirm, um, I, I want to um, go over this, um, confirm the status um, and make sure we, we share the same understanding. So since Bill is here, um, um, I will do a recap. So, um, as the next step, we, we want to build on um, build on version seven. That's what we want to build on. And um, something that 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 from, I wasn't sure if they have been incorporated is um, Paul's comment um, uh, sent in this uh, document that I show over here. Um, and this is to build version five. So maybe there are some points that have already been incorporated, but I think we should certainly double check uh, for the latest version if they are all reflected. I just pointed out, I just highlighted the ones that seemed to uh, need confirmation as of the decision of the first team, and I didn't pick everything, um, and um, assuming this, all the rest is okay. And um, and then we need to, to add Andre's text uh, suggestion, which um, Alan has explained the concept, and um, so this needs to be reflected. Um, and Andre will send the text again to, to the Chris Key mailing list, because it, the text change is not just for uh, Section 3A3, but it's also some changes to Section 3A2. So Andre will send this. And then um, Alan's uh, uh, latest feedback uh, on um, is shared in this document here over here. So this is the, uh, the document with number four. This is the fourth version. And my understanding is Alan has built on those version seven. So whoever has the pen simply has to uh, has to um, to work on on bills 
uh, version and then add Alan's uh, changes that is being uh, displayed in, in this document. That's my understanding. And then um, definition needs to be added. Uh, thank you very much, Paul, for working on this. It, it, it's very much appreciated. And uh, um, this uh, uh, glossary is uh, shared in this uh, document. And then in addition to this, um, Nurani has sent a um, revision that is not listed in this summary. I think it was uh, sent after I, sent, uh, I actually sent this summary. So it's not on the list, but this is one more thing that needs to be updated. And again, I think um, Rani has uh, worked on um, those version 7, so whoever has the pen simply needs to add uh, to um, add additional comment from Nurani on this point. So I think that's the status, and um, I hope um, that it doesn't contradict with anybody's um, understanding. So um, if anybody has a different understanding, uh, please raise hands. And if not, um, we, we really want to um, be efficient in the call today to make sure Michael has enough time to work on the, the draft. So um, um, hand from Nurani. Thank you, Jim, and I think your way forward is very reasonable. So I will just make a very, very quick uh, comment to clarify. Uh, I don't know, maybe Bill was a part of uh, when we started talking about this um, of course, there's no Bill's version or Michael's version, but what we're saying is that there were changes made by uh, by Bill that were actual changes to agreed text that we've been discussing for a very, very long time. So changing that text doesn't introduce any new text. What we're saying in a lot of instances is that we should revert back to what was agreed text. If in doubt, if there's discussion, if there are um, different opinions on wording, we revert back to um, the text that we had have discussed for a very long time and come to an agreement on. So, for example, there were there were for example there were uh, there was wording on how the RIR should consult their communities when drafting the the agreement. That was something we discussed at length and we agreed on the text. The other thing was the, the arbitration in a neutral venue, and that was also something we discussed for a long time, and we agreed on the text. So, so it's nothing, um, just to be clear, it's nothing personal. It's not a matter of whose style we prefer, or it's just a matter of where we have agreed text, where we've very carefully drafted text that everyone was comfortable with. We should revert back to that. Thank you. Um, thank you, Nurani. So just to clarify, um, I, my assumption was that people have already have uh, commented um, on the part that needs reverse back, but are you saying that um, some people haven't made comments on the part that needs to be reverted back, and then um, we, we have to do uh, go over and uh, recheck what has been um, changed and what has been agreed? Um, so, so my initial assumption was people would have uh, commented if um, there were some text that has been changed based on the agreement. So uh, um, oh, thank you for this clarification run on the chat. So they, I, I believe they have already been addressed. People have made comments uh, and raised uh, to uh, request it to change. And I, I think um, our default direction, just to be clear, we're not going to confirm it per each comment whether or not we will come or incorporate. The default is we will incorporate, but I just highlighted some points that um, needs to be uh, a clear decision by uh, the Chris team today whether we will incorporate this or not. And then other than that, I think uh, the default is that we will incorporate all comments. So um, I hope this is uh, clear to everybody. Um, I, I, I'm not seeing uh, much disagreement about other people's comments from others, and I see Alan and Andre has, uh, has reached an agreement about the text for IPR, so I'm not seeing a very big issue um, anymore. And I think the next step we, we have to do, we just have to do is uh, agree on the unresolved issues, which I have listed uh, over here, and then um, I think we just. Uh, update the suggestions um, that has been sent from Chris team members uh, 
since the seventh um, uh, seventh version that Bill had sent. So um, um, I'm sorry, I've, I've kept uh, you waiting for a long time, Bill. And but. Um, Also, uh, yes, I understand. Um, so, Bill. Okay, so the, the point I'd like to try and get across is that when we don't minimize the document, when we have the same issue discussed in several different places in the document, as is almost inevitable, but we, on the last call, agreed that we would more go in that direction rather than trying to uh, clobber redundancy, right, or get rid of redundancy, um, and someone suggests a change, the change needs to be applied in multiple places, and those places need to be found, okay? The person suggesting that change almost never takes that into account, and so then two possibilities, either well, three possibilities. Either the change gets applied to all of those places, and then you guys start arguing about it again, or the change applies some places, and then uh, you know other people look and recognize that there's now a discrepancy, and uh, then they want the discrepancy resolved, or we apply the change in the one place and we get rid of the other places, right? So any of those are fine. I don't think Michael probably cares much. I don't care, but we gotta be clear on what you're asking for when you wanna change, and you need to go back and look at the whole document and figure out whether you want the change to apply everywhere, or whether you are creating a different statement than was there before, and if you want that statement to be different than the other places where the thing appears, right? So when Narani says there were changes that are to what was agreed to, yes, of course, every change is a change to what was previously agreed to. The question is if you want the changes not applied throughout the document, or if you want them applied throughout the document. And so you gotta be clear about that. If you want them applied uniformly throughout the document, then it's going to change other places that other people may care about, and they may want those rolled back. And that would affect your change and everything about it that you've asked for, right? So this is why <clears throat> we need to stop working from red lines and work from the whole document at this point and we need to start to minimize the number of sort of things that we're bickering back and forth on. Okay. Well, thank you, Bill. I, I do see your point, but I, I think, um, I, I believe person who holds the pen can probably sort that out and then um, he can raise it if there are issues that need to be agreed. But I think we have agreed on the general terms and then uh, we can we don't need to be too, too strict about uh, uh, consistency except for the very core words that we where we have agreed. And so um so that's that's my quick comment and go to Paul. Okay. Actually first Bill, I'm so happy you're on this call because you're saving me an email. I wanted to thank you actually for the document that you sent in because I have to say that I read this thing over a number of hours very slowly and I, I did love the edits that you put in there. Now, when I went through those edits, I think what everybody's talking about, I think we, we, we've kind of summed it up and I, and I understand what you're calling for. I think the edits that you've had that have come in now have looked at text that was changed, okay? And I don't believe, when I went through and gave you my edits, I'm speaking personally for the ones I've given to you, when I asked you to revert back, I said, whoa, this has changed and that text was different. When I went through the rest of the document and I looked at it, it wasn't a change that would have made a difference in a whole bunch of places. 
It was just something that I thought, whoa, stop. This one, they, this was kind of bickered about or, or talked about or debated or whatever word you want to use earlier on in the process. You might not have seen that. So I understand that when you go in with a, with a pen to make everything kind of clear, you might make some changes to things that you think are just like, okay, this seems logical to me, and it, it might well do, but it had changed something that was agreed that I don't think had a reflection through the rest of the document. So I must say, when I look at the edits that I've seen coming from Alan, coming from Neurons, coming from myself, and I look at where these things are changing, I still see a great flow within the document. I'm just moving to accept those changes that are there unless anybody's violently disagreeing and freeze this damn document and let's, let's go on because I think the work that you've done is brilliant, but there are those little edits and I don't think they change the, the, what you're actually stating. So I'm, if we can agree this and then move on, I think we're rocking. Great, Paul, for this um, this um, comment. Um, I, I totally agree with you, and I think uh, things are not as complicated as uh, may, maybe um, some people may be thinking. So I think we just simply need to add these additional comments that are being made, and then, uh, as Paul has mentioned, it's basically um, it's, uh, reverting any of the words. It's, um, it's uh, suggesting to change any of the words. It's basically reverting back to what uh, what was read on. Um, in, uh, initially agreed, and I, I believe people are not really adding a, a new new concept at this stage, and that's also including um, Andre's text on RPR. I think he just simply rephrased what was agreed. So I think if we can move, uh, move with this general um, understanding, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if we have uh, too many issues that uh, needs to be addressed. So I see um, Bill's hand. So, Bill? Uh, I mean, every change came from somebody. And so saying this is really simple, uh, you know, something changed, I want it changed back, uh, you know, that, that's fine. You guys hash it out. I, I can apply... I can either apply every change that everybody sends me, or I can apply the changes that multiple people support in the mailing list, or I can do what I have been doing, which is applying the changes that seem uncontroversial to me, right, and kicking things back if they seem controversial to me and I want to understand whether there is consensus. The problem is, if people are not keeping up with the list and they're not seeing the changes that other people are requesting and something gets clobbered, you know, saying revert assumes that everybody has a common frame of reference, which is never exactly the case, right? Because you guys are looking at snapshots, whereas the changes are getting applied serially. Um, so saying revert doesn't necessarily make sense. Just tell me what change, and I can either apply the change or I can, you know, ask whether there's consensus and if there is, apply the change. Those are really sort of the only two possibilities for the person holding the pen. Oh, um, yes, and uh, thank you, Bill, for um, asking this question. And uh, I just want to be clear. Um, who will be holding the pen from um, um, this step? So I think um, in the last call, we we agreed that uh, Bill, you will be, um, well, Michael will first hold the pen, and then Bill will apply the edits. And I thought my understanding was that uh, from uh, this point onwards, um, Michael will take over the pen. That, that was my um, understanding of what we uh, Agreed. Um, so um, I just want to be clear about the next uh, step. Um, so, so from from now on, Michael will take over the pen on uh, to answer um, those questions. So Michael will incorporate all the comments that are listed here um, uh, that I, I summarized plus one's uh, additional edit. So I think Michael is quite clear on. Um, I, we, there's a process that I put into email on the list involved in 
switching back and forth who has the pen. It's not a, a matter of saying it, it's a matter of executing the process, okay? There are a bunch of steps there. And the first step is we have to freeze changes, right? That is, additional people not sending in changes that are ambiguous as to what version they're gonna be applied to. Then we update the version and switch the pen and then we start changes again. Okay, so if you guys want to switch the pen, you got to stop suggesting changes, right? It, until the pen has switched. Not complicated, but if that's what you want, we got to actually do it instead of arguing about it. Yes, I agree. So I think we really, um, as um, we agreed earlier at the call, we are going to stop uh, making uh, changes, uh, uh, sending out suggestions. So we, we freeze here, and I think we are in good state where people generally agree with other people's suggestions, and um, we just have just a couple of, uh, a few items that need to be agreed, which I listed here. Um, so I think um, that will um, help us move in the, um, in, in the uh, next step. And uh, I wasn't sure, um, so current version is eight. Um, so Bill, Bill's current version is eight. But I think people have commented on your seventh version. So is your um, eighth version out on the mailing list? I'm of course not. Eight is the current version, not the version that has been frozen and distributed. Seven is the version that's frozen and distributed and you guys have sent comments back to. I can't apply changes to seven. Seven already exists. All changes are relative to seven on eight. We can freeze eight, at which point there will be no more changes to eight and move to nine, okay? But that has not yet happened because you haven't yet frozen changes, okay? I can't apply changes to something that's already up there and frozen, okay? There can't be any changes to seven now. All changes are to eight now. By definition, you can't have eight until we freeze eight and move to nine, okay? Is that clear? Um, that's from perspective of the pen, so that's clear. So um, it's clear that we, we have to close all changes. That's clear, and I think it's um, it's clear to everybody that we have frozen all the ch additional changes. And um, what's not very uh, no people keep talking about reverting things. Reverting means a change to the um, present. Okay, so um, I think reverting in the way that um, um, it, it was. Let's use the word that was originally uh, agreed and used. But I think. You can simply apply the, uh, the suggested um, what seems like changes from the um, from the, uh, the suggested changes that people have sent because um, that is not the uh, so the, the intention is uh, actually sticking to the uh, the phrase that was uh, originally agreed by by the team that's the intention but uh, um, we we don't mean that uh, we have to go back a version or like a, Seven or no, no, six or whatever, and no, that 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 is not. So I think the, the work forward simply is that um, people have sent in comments to your version seven. So um, I think that version. There was a version seven. There was only one version seven. Okay. So comments to version seven get applied to version eight. Okay. Yes. It, and they get applied serially. Okay. And yes. so until we move to version nine, version eight is open and apply and changes are being applied to it. Okay? Saying simply just revert is a change. Either something is a change or it's not a change. Right? It doesn't seem like a change. It is a change or it's not a change. And it I can only apply changes or not apply changes. I can't both apply changes and revert things and have them cover each other and make everybody happy with everything, okay? So when you say things we have agreed to, it, that's aspirational, right? In point of fact, 
people send changes and they are in disagreement with each other and either they have to be applied or not applied and if you're not actually in agreement with each other as you believe you are i got to i got to do something with that i have to either apply a change or not apply a change right one person saying change somebody else saying reverse that's not actually agreement okay I understood your concern, and I'm seeing, um, um, but, um, uh, well, I do have comments. I, I see a couple of hands, so um, let's uh, go to, um, who do I have next? Um, I see, um, I see, I see Andre on the top of my list. So, um, Andre? I think Alan was first, so I'll let Alan to speak. Oh, sorry. Uh, Alan. Alan, please. Okay. Um, right, so if our document editor wants us to freeze changes, let's do that. Um, let's agree that, that as of now, we're not going to send any more suggested changes relative to seven. And let's get eight out as quickly as we can. Um, and then... Yeah, I, I think th there's some confusion about the use of the term revert. Um, I, I think th there's no suggestion that we should revert lots of stuff. There's just been a few suggestions that perhaps some of the text in 7 should be changed. So if we call it a change rather than calling it a revert. Um, to me, it's the same thing, but maybe it'll make Bill happier. I'm just trying to be clear to everybody that when you say a reversion, that doesn't make it not a change. It's a change to the present version. Yes, right? yes, of course, it's a change. And it's being called a reversion because it's undoing a previous change, but it, it's still a change relative to now. Yeah, exactly. So um, thank you, Alan, for this. I think that's very good observation. Um, let's go to Andre. Pretty much agree with what Alan said. I think freeze is very important. Let's freeze V8, uh, and for the time being, stop sending changes. And from V8, any suggested change should be very explicit. It, uh, new, old and new, right? So no reverts, no, uh, like we discussed that, it's just old and new, and that's it. Okay, um, thank you, Andre. So, um, so we'll freeze and um, we'll freeze eight and uh, simply old and new, and we're not going to have like anything new. So, uh, I hope that's so simple for everybody. And then, no, no that was not my point. My point that if you suggest a change, it should be relative from V8. It should not have any reference to previous versions. So, if you want to revert, you have to specify. I want to change this paragraph to that paragraph, right? So it, it should be very explicit. Okay, understood. Um, I, I just want to be clear. I, we are freezing changes, so um, um, I think we we want we don't want any more comments um, at, at this stage for any of the versions. Um, and so, so we'll start compiling our comments based on what was received until now. And um, so, and then uh, um, my, Bill or Michael, who, whoever will hold the pen uh, from this stage, will will incorporate all the changes, and then will be distributed, and people will have a uh, chance to take a, a final confirmation, which will be very uh, brief for maybe one hour or so. But um, that, that's the um, that's the idea, and I hope the process is clear to everybody. So um, I, I see a comment from Bill. Stay just now. There are some changes from seven applied in eight, and some not yet applied. Um, understood. And I also see a comment from Andre. Hopefully, there will be no changes once all changes to date from this call are incorporated in our version eight. We can freeze eight with all changes from seven.
but I, I think that makes sense. Um, yes, I also prefer the former bill. Um, and um, I, I still have uh, people in the queue, so let's go to uh, Michael. Yes, everybody. Um, thank you for all your comments and feedback. I know I've seen quite a bit of um, email traffic, and I know everybody's working hard on this, and especially Bill for getting the most current, um, you know, the version 7 that's been circulated. I think that we're probably making this a little bit more complicated than we need to. I agree with Bill that there needs to be a very clear passing of the pen kind of procedure in the sense that um, we, are, we are conscious of which document is being passed on and which document uh, is the present. So my understanding is, and, and I'm sure um, people will correct me if I'm wrong, but 7 was circulated. We have a bunch of comments that were relative to 7. Bill started um, working on version 8, which is in progress and has been uh, able to incorporate some, but not all of the comments that people were making in, in relation to version 7. I see that Bill's uh, question, um, and I do think we need to have some idea on this, is that do we have Bill pass the pen on to me, we are freezing changes, but that Bill passed the pen on to me with a version 8 that has been frozen that hasn't applied all the changes or should they apply them all and then it's passed on. Um, I agree that probably because uh, he has already put a lot of effort into version 8 that he apply all of those um, changes that he sees at this point and then we can freeze all, we, well all the comments will be frozen at this point, he passes that on and then what I can do is with maybe the help of everybody else's eyes look at that and make sure that any changes, any other comments, edits, everything else, any other items are addressed in that, that version. If there aren't or if there's anything that needs to be updated, then I will work on a version 9 and that should be, hopefully, I'm assuming based on all the comments that I've been hearing here, that version 9 will not be terribly different from version 8. But, um, but if it is, anything that's going to be there will be um, will be specifically itemized and shown as to what changes from version 8 will be shown there. And hopefully at that point we're going to be very close. The one thing I did want to point out, and I, I mentioned this in the email, is that um, because we have a lot of going back and forth on this, when we have version 9 and everybody has looked at it and let's say that is good to go, you know, we do need to have enough time for everybody to reach consensus on that because, um, you know, I know we have a tight deadline coming up. But if there's anything else that uh, um, people would like to comment, I'm definitely welcome to that. So hopefully that's clarified a little bit. Thank you very much, Michael. I think um, that sounds reasonable to me. And I'm seeing Rani um, agreeing very clear. And um, so if um, everybody is OK with this, um, including Bill, um, well, let's move with uh, this uh, direction. Great, right, Michael. So everybody is agreeing. It's oh, perfect. So um, oh, let's then go to Paul. Sorry, Zuma, I have nothing further to say. Michael took the wind out of my sails. I fully agree. Thank you. You ready? Okay, as I said, I take my hand down. Very, very clearly explained. Thanks, Michael. Uh, so uh, last time when um, I said we needed eight hours to apply changes uh, and we wound up with more like four, um, the, the final, once you guys get to text that you no longer want to further change, we still need to split the cover letter off as a separate document and do the pagination, and uh, that will take a bit of time. I mean, there's probably 90 minutes to two hours of work there. Um, I know it seems simple, but you know it's not quite as trivial as one assumes if one isn't actually doing it, uh, because stuff always comes up. Um, so. You need to build in enough time to get that done before the deadline. I sent uh, my schedule for the day, and I asked that Michael do so as well. 
so that we can figure out if there's going to be another change of the pen, when that would be. Um, so I think um, Michael and uh, Bill can all uh, work together on um, what works for both of you to to meet the next uh, uh, timeline schedule to or share with the with the team. And uh, regarding the, the cover letter, um, I think uh, we, we want to uh, our priority is to make sure we, we meet the deadline. So if this is something that takes uh, additional work, although I did see more support for removing it from the document, um, I would uh, propose, su suggest that we, we actually keep it as it is. So um, I think, um, and. So um, to understand, to to uh, confirm the next step, uh, Bill. Um, so I've summarized all the list of things that needs to be incorporated here, and I understand you you have opened up version eight and have incorporated some of the changes. And in addition, um, Nirani's uh, uh, has submitted comments, which is not listed here. So I hope uh, it's clear that um, um, what needs to be worked is clear. Um, so I see a comment from Paul that, that you need time to review it. Um, yes, um, but I, I think there will be one more um, uh, cir circulation, but I think I, I believe this will be very, very short. So it's not, not going to be uh, uh, fixed immediately, but uh, I, I think uh, we can confirm the timeline that it's going to be maybe uh, 30 minutes or, or one hour. Um, and I see a question from Bill is, um, uh, that if there's going to be a version uh, 10 or not. Um, in my understanding, um, this, the short answer is no. So it might have like version 9 with very small editorial changes like a, like a um, but no text suggestion. That no, no, not for sure. Uh, for sure. So for the purpose of constituent or uh, consistency or uh, obvious error, that's something to be fixed. Okay, so we can call this version ten. So I see a hand from Paul. Uh, thanks, Izumi. Yeah, I do not want to see a version ten. Um, as I stated, if, if, if the changes don't have any pushback from anyone that I've put in and they're in the do version 9, I am not going to review the whole document again. I'm going to sign off on it and say that I'm happy with it because I think the document is very good. There were some last minute, you know, the, the, the bits that came in from version 7, whether they were put in 8 or 9, I don't care, but the ones that came in from 7, I looked at them all. I agree to them all. If they end up in the document and that's version 9, you will get my sign off. I do not want to see a version 10. Thank you. Thank you for this, uh, Paul. So, um, so let's uh, freeze with version 9 and this will be circulated uh, from uh, Michael. And um, so I see a hand from uh, Nirani and Andre. And Andres. So um, Nirani first. I believe Andre was performing. Sorry, you go first. Thank you, Zumi. Um, one question regarding the timeline. Um, I think uh, we act on the assumption that we send the document to the ICG and we just inform the community. We don't expect any feedback or any review from the community side because I think. For Asia Pacific community, for instance, it's already pretty late. Uh, yes, the, the assumption is that we just send it to the ICG and then we, we uh, report to the community that it has been sent because there's no more time to, uh, for the community to uh, give comments before the submission to the ICG. 
and um, well, this was something that I wanted to uh, discuss with you at the call, whether we will be asking for um, additional endorsement in some way or not. Um, that was something that I wanted to confirm. But um, before we send to the ICG, no, we will not uh, make an announcement to the community. So it will be after uh, we submit this document to the ICG that we, um, we, we make an announcement to the community that we, we did submit it. So that's, that's the idea. So, um, Murani? Thank you. And just uh, to quickly say I agree with that approach, um, to send it to the ICG and then just inform the community. Uh, just uh, quickly, for the record, I've, I have not seen uh, any comments in the last seven hours that I disagree uh, with. I think we've moved, with, we have consensus on those things. Uh, in the meantime, I managed to look at Alan's uh, additional comments that I hadn't uh, managed to go through before the call, and I'm all happy with them. So in my view, I don't think there are any changes suggested in the last seven hours uh, that we have disagreement on. If that is the case, they can all be incorporated into version, uh, and I, I support that we freeze any more comments now, that's it. They can all be incorporated to produce version 8, and hopefully that means that we have uh, a version that has all the changes uh, in them that we have provided so far, a clean version then that we can all read and we're all happy with. Thank you. Thank you, Nurani. I think that that's the idea, and thank you very much for clearly um, stating uh, this. Uh, and uh, Andres. Yeah, this is, this is Andres. I, I just raised my, raised my hand uh, when Paul was explaining his his idea about a freezing in version in nine and not wanting a version ten. And I also agree with that the document is really great and if there are editorial changes, I will be okay with all of them. So uh, that's my agreement. Thank you. Thank you for this, um, Andres. So, um, so Bill, we have, we have a question that, um, uh, and that happens by email um, uh, to the ICG. Uh, if that that was your question, yes, uh, we, we submit by our email. That's my understanding. The, the question is the vote. How do we do the vote? If we have to vote to confirm, the vote to confirm is by email. We're not going to try and have another call, oh, right? Okay. Um, Yes, I think the basic idea is that we, we actually um, um, see if there are any concerns that are that will be expressed on the mailing list, and then if no, then we we just uh, consider this as it's been agreed by the Chris team. That's the approach that I suggest. So I think the idea is that once um, the the um, I think um, people have expressed that they're, they're already happy with um, the uh, changes made so far and uh, the, uh, the changes suggested by other people and there doesn't seem to be issues that it uh, uh, needs a uh, very big uh, controversial discussions. So. Um, um, you can incorporate all the changes that have been suggested by people and then compile them. I, I, I know Bill, you're working on version 8 and then hand that over so that Michael can take over. And then, uh, so we have version 9 and this will be uh, sent out to the ICG. So that's, that's the idea. So, um, Bill, I understand you're working on version 8, so um, continue working on version 8 to incorporate um, other people's comments that have been expressed. So we have frozen all the comments um, already, so incorporate what's already been expressed. And then um, pass this to Michael, and um, Michael to um, make, if Michael makes additional changes, that will be version 9. Correct. So that's that's the understanding. Okay, so so you guys are going to decide after looking at version eight, which 
uh, you know, once we stop talking about it, I need, I'm just guessing here, 45 minutes or so to uh, produce at, because I've got changes from Paul Narani and Alan to apply to eight before we freeze it. Um, then you guys decide whether or not you want to make further changes. So then we decide whether we're voting to approve eight or we apply further changes, freeze nine, and vote to approve nine. As soon as the vote happens, we do the split and paginate. Is that correct? Um, my understanding was I, I wasn't actually planning to uh, do a, a vote actually. So, um, and um, I wasn't uh, planning to openly uh, call for further comments because I, I don't think there, we, we have time for this. So um, we have to trust uh, you, uh, Bill and uh, Michael, to incorporate all the changes. And if there are any um, inconsistencies that you want to raise, well, you can raise it on the mailing list, and then um, um, it's going to be either myself or Michael who will who will uh, reply yeah. to this. And I, I think we have to move in, in this way from this. I stage. thought this vote thing was was required by the process. Some somebody said on the mailing list we had to have a vote to approve. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. So. Um, So, so we have to vote for um, version 9 then. Well, we can either vote on version 8 or we can vote on version 9. It depends on whether people submit further changes relative to 8. So, Alan, for instance, is saying you can't submit changing 8 until you see it. And that's reasonable, but <laughs> at some point we're going to be out of time. Yes. Um. No running. Thank you. Uh, just clarification on this. Uh, I uh, need Um, I don't think we have to vote on this. I think this is a last resort mechanism if we can't reach rough consensus. So therefore I suggest that we all look at, look at what we think is the final version. We endorse that. I would encourage everyone to actively endorse it. Just to be clear. Uh, if we are not happy with it, if one of us really feels that uh, we cannot endorse it for any reason, then we will have to object on the mailing list and deal with it then. But I'm under the impression, given our discussions over all these weeks, that we are actually in rough consensus. So it'd be great if we look at the last document, if everyone feels comfortable enough with it, we actively endorse it and it's handled that way. Thanks. Thank you, Nurani. Um, so if that works for everyone, um, let's uh, base it on rough consensus uh, rather than vote, and uh, people can express um, their endorsement on the mailing list. Okay, so um, and I think we can do that on, on version... And I see a comment from Andre. So eight is the, um, for the final review, and then no changes, and then uh, version nine. So, um, yes, so um, between 8 and 9, I want to start check if people still feel you want to comment, um, given that we're quite short of time. Andre. So, I think we should um, restrain ourselves from commenting, if not crucial and really necessary. Well, necessary case, for instance, I send by email latest changes to the IPR as we just discussed, right? If I don't see uh, this change in version eight, I will comment. 
right? If this change is in version eight, there will be no comment to that to, 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 to on that subject, right? So I think if all the changes are incorporated, there will be no comments from version eight, and therefore version nine is basically the same as version eight. But we need to have this uh, kind of stop and wait. Uh, for version 8, I think that's the frozen version that we open final review for really missing things, not just, hey, what's missing? Yes, thank you. So I think the idea is version 8 is almost a final version, but um, there may be something that was overlooked, and in that case, the changes that were suggested was not incorporated, and that's when people point out, people don't add anything new or something that was, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, this, this is not some, something you do. So um, if everything was incorporated accurately, version 8 will be equal to version 9. So um, I'm not hearing um, any other comments related to this. So. Um, so um, to to be clear, also uh, version eight. Um, Bill, you're, you're working on this uh, version, right? Okay. So um, and uh, let's go back. Um, so we want to target submitting to the ICG um, at uh, 23 UTC, uh, I think, because um, again. And we, we, we want to give a little bit of buffer for sending and some last minute things. So we want to have the endorsed document by our UTC 23. So, um, and then, um, so we want to give about one hour buffer um, for uh, uh, 22 UTC um, for Secretariat to to upload on um, uh, so, so uh, 23 UTC is the uh, the time of submission to the ICG, and then uh, we want to uh, give one hour buffer uh, for Secretariat to uh, upload the uh, the proposal on the website and, and prepare things. So uh, at our UTC uh, 20. Uh, 22, we want to have a document that is fixed. Twenty one UTC is pagination. Uh, so uh, yes. So uh, by pagination, you mean a last minute uh, confirmation? Or uh? no, pagination means. Taking this mm -hmm. document and splitting the cover letter off and uh, going through to make sure that every heading title is on the same page as the paragraph it precedes and that page breaks are in reasonable places, not in the middle of a table and so forth, uh, that um, uh, hyphenation is, is proper, that the table of contents is accurate and, um, you know, all that, as I said, uh, well, okay, what I said before was two hours. Two hours would be safer. Uh, we're starting to really push it here. Okay. We can do a half um, Sure. Um, I actually drafted this uh, updated timeline, so I wonder if it's able to show this on the screen so that people are able to see this. Uh, um, I'm not sure if this is available now. Oh, great! Thank you very much. So um, let's go down, slow down a little bit. So, um, uh, so we, um, we actually, uh, I actually initially targeted 23, uh, 30 UTC, but uh, maybe we can delay this to uh, 23, and then. Um, and um, we give uh, so uh, by 22 UTC we, we complete uh, 
we complete the document. Um, so by a complete, it means um, including the pagination is done. So uh, this is the completed document is fixed at the uh, 22 UTC. And um, so, and based on this timeline, um, so let, let's go back. Um, so the final comment to be uh, sent to uh, to the draft. By this, this is um, confirming whether you have your all your comments have been incorporated. That this is the confirmation, um, the last minute confirmation. So it's not incorporating new comments. And then Michael to share the updated draft. Um, well, Michael or, or Bill or whoever will be holding a pen, which will let's confirm. Um, so at uh, 20, uh, 1930 UTC. Okay, so um, so there's a request for version eight by um, 1530 UTC and. Uh, Great, oh, Bill, thank you. So that, that's wonderful. And uh, so I think maybe we can uh, move this deadline a little bit ahead. Yes, I, I think that's a very good, uh, good uh, suggestion, Alan. So uh, let's have Bill to get started, and then um, um, he can concentrate on work and um, So, um, 1930 deadline was initially uh, suggested to to be uh, shared, uh, share the draft uh, of um, share the draft uh, with the first team, but I, I think this has been shortened. Um, so. Okay. So I just I just want to like if I'm dropping off, I want to be really clear on what's going to happen. So let me say what I think. I'm. Mm -hmm going to try and do and what collectively we're going to try and do. And if anybody disagrees, please tell me. Uh, so I think I'm going to drop off. I'm going to take the outstanding comments <coughs> from um, Alan and Paul and Narani. I'm going to apply them. Uh, I believe Andre said he had a comment that he had gotten in also. Um, I am really hoping I'm not going to find anything beyond those. Yes, the glossary is uh, there as well. Okay, I'm going to apply all those. I am going to um, produce a frozen version 8 and distribute it to the list. Um, all this is subject to the schedule of my availability that I already posted to the list. Um, uh, and then everybody is going to look over eight, and then by some time, which I'm not sure what is, but I really think you need to fix. No, we can't fix until eight is out. Okay. Uh, we could make it relative. We could say once, okay, three hours. Alan's just proposed three hours after eight comes out, we, um, we say that uh, we have rough consensus uh, if there are no major objections and pagination can begin. Is that is that everybody's understanding? Okay. So at um, 18.30 UTC, we, we do this. Um, um, uh, yeah, that's great. Um, and let me just uh, double check before you go, Bill, that uh, we, we have no issues that need to, to um, confirm um, um, if there are any additional changes. Um, so can we go back to the, uh, the issues list? So to be confirmed at the call today, um, I've, I've listed a couple of things and um, description of arbitration for global or G, or G, um, policy development process. I think this is already reflected in Paul's uh, text uh, to put this back uh, 
and not to use the word neutral or has this is suggested some text with this. So please apply. There are two parts that uses this uh, neutral word. So um, uh, please uh, refer to uh, Paul's uh, text and uh, be consistent there. So, um, I hope that is clear. And um, I'm not sure how strongly you feel about this, Paul. Um, so uh, there's a part in uh, Section 3A2 that uh, talks about IPR, that you felt that it was a little bit uh, complicated. Um, um, can, can we still keep this as it is without uh, changing? If Paul is OK with this, then I think we can uh, keep this. Hi there, Izumi. Yeah. Um, in the last edit that I provided that had the combined Irani and I, I actually gave the, the, the direct text that could be put in there. Um, it's just that for me, and you know, uh, I imagine that others that may not be native English speakers, I had to read that sentence three times uh, before I got it. So I think that we tried to simplify it a little bit and make it very clear what it was we were doing. And I, I gave a little bit more simple language there. And I hope that that could be used, I, uh, unless anybody doesn't agree with it. But the, the exact text was given in my last submission of the joint Narani and I uh, submission. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. So that's already, um, as long as Bill reflects your, your submission, then I think that will be, this part will be addressed. Thank you. So um, that's great. And, um, and everybody whether... stop. The problem is if you guys cover each other. It's not, you know, I'm, I'm not sitting here, like, deciding not to do your stuff. Yes. No, not at all, Bill. Nobody's nobody's clobbering. It's it's that it, that they're they're not huge changes, and I don't think anybody was disagreeing with anyone. And and it's just sorry. Yeah. When I say clobber, no, I mean no, no if one person has a change and somebody else has a change, and you both submit them, uh, and they overlap, right? Yes. That's what I mean by clobber. You bet. You bet, Bill. And and to be honest with you, I went through these everybody's bits and. I haven't seen any overlaps in what anyone ha has given there. So I don't think you'll run into that difficulty. So I appreciate that, yeah, of course, it's difficult for you if you get three or four different versions of somebody wanting to change something. But I didn't. I really didn't see that. So I, I hope that you will not run into that difficulty. And if you do, by all means, Bill, use what you think is best. You're a very sensible character. Thank you. And um, um, I see a hand from Andre. I don't expect conflicts myself as well, but I think it's better if you flag if there is a conflict coming from different people on Chris team immediately on the list. Yes, share this immediately on the list. Thank you, Andre, for all saying this. And um, so, sorry, and, no, but yes. the notion that every time somebody has an edit that affects any previous edit. I would notice that, or Michael would notice that, and we would summarize it back to the list is not feasible. No, of course not. But we are talking about substantive uh, conflicts and uh, um, overlaps, clashes, right? So just editing stuff is it's, it's really up to you both. So is that clear to you, Bill? <laughs> well, I, so. Let me just sort of say what this looks like from my point of view. From my point of view, it seems like you guys are all saying this should be easy because we all agree with each other. And then when I go to actually apply changes, many of them are overlapping, right? So you guys say you agree with each other more than you actually do, um, which is fine. It's to be expected, but there's no magic that I can do to make you as much in agreement with each other as you think that you are. So I think um, Alan is just saying just apply the edits and then um, and then let people pick it up when reviewing the uh, version eight. So does that work for you? If you're asking me, yes, of course. Okay. So, um, and then I think there's one more point that um, 
whether we need some update in section um, six um, currently being suggested um, is here. Um, I have personally didn't see a strong need to change this actually, but um, it, it seems to be uh, capturing our uh, discussions. But the only thing that may not have uh, described is that uh, some dis um, there were some discussions about uh, dispute resolution and uh, incorporating details of SLA, which is not um, uh, described in, uh, in this uh, um, version. But, um, And um, so it's sorry, sorry. Michael just said something. I need to make sure that you guys all think about this because what Michael says is wrong here. Michael is saying that if you all turn on track changes, then um, it, you'll be able to see conflicts. You can't because your change your change tracking is all relative to seven right now. For instance, it's all relative to whatever the last frozen version is, and you're all submitting changes, right? So. If two of you submit changes that are both relative to seven and are overlapping, right, what happens is either a judgment call on the part of the editor or it's a matter of the order in which the changes are applied. Okay? No magic I can do to change that. It's just fact. Uh, thank you. I think we're making it more right. complicated than it needs uh, to be, and I, I really, I'm really with Paul here. Um, that I think that our discussions, you know, over all these weeks, but certainly in the last eight hours, they've converged, and and I, I really find it very hard to see where there's overlap. But, but I mean, I understand Bill's need need for clarity here as well. So. But if we go with what Alan's saying, just apply the edits. If there are conflicts that you don't notice, as long as there are track changes in there, it is up to us to point those out, to find that and point it out. And if we don't point it out, we'll all look stupid. If we find them and point them out, we'll deal with them. Is, is that a, a good way of approaching it? No, Bill, and I'm, that's fine. Maybe I, I, I take your point. Maybe I don't see it, uh, and that's okay. I think you guys are all nice people, so you're all assuming that you agree with each other, and that's that's not a, a judgment of of you. I mean, everybody is different. Everybody has different ideas. It's that's fine. We're all in a process of convergence. Um, the more communication happens, the more that's visible, and the more. We come into actual convergence, but uh, my all, all I'm saying here is that you're assuming that you're in agreement more than you actually are when the changes are applied, and that is the source of the problem that you're seeing where you keep saying you want to revert things. That, that's all I'm saying. I'm explaining to you where the source of the problem that you're observing, yes. Um, thank you, Bill. I, I, I do see the possibility, but um, let's just uh, start uh, uh, working, and then when there's specific problem, um, uh, deal with it. I, I think people haven't made changes to the contents of the proposal itself, and people are basically commenting on wording and things like this. And yes, it, it's, uh, it's. In wording is important, but it's, mm, mm, unless we, we touch very, very fundamental part of our uh, wording, uh, I, I think it, it maybe some inconsistency is mm, uh, it's okay. I mean, it's not great, but um, and let's just uh, try to see first with what we have, and uh, if you find serious issues, so please uh, share on the mailing list uh, where you feel you cannot make a decision. Um, so, can you work in that style? Oh, someone emailing new text. This will be frozen. N nobody will be mailing new text. Um, 
So no, no new text from this stage. It's all frozen. So and then the only any comments that uh, you will be expecting from people is, hey, my change that was suggested was not reflected. That that will be um, what you will be hearing from people. And um, so I, I see a concern that maybe um, the changes that uh, somebody have suggested have actually. Uh, um, um, kill the changes that has been uh, suggested by somebody else. That that could be uh, possible. Uh, yes, but um, it seems that the part that people are, are commenting is not really touching the the, uh, the very uh, essential part of explaining the, the proposal element um, itself. So. Um, I'm not really seeing a big issue. So maybe it will make one person slightly uh, not so happy that uh, he or her change was not uh, incorporated. But I think it's not that critical at this stage. We have actually reviewed so many uh, revisions. And I think we're more at the stage of making the document better. And um, so I think people are pretty willing to accept uh, any changes that was not um, uh, that they, they suggested, uh, which was uh, not uh, in incorporated. That, that's my um, understanding. Paul. Yeah, OK. Yeah, Bill, I, I, I can see your points. You've asked very valid questions. I think they've been answered, and we must move on. In my personal opinion, I really don't think you're going to get this kind of conflict. We're freezing the documents. The edits that are there, I do not see overlap. I've scoured them all. I've scoured them all like a, like a wonderful housekeeper. I don't think you'll see this. And frankly, at this stage, I re I, guys, we cannot have these discussions. I think at the end, if we have one conflict and it's there, we can probably resolve it very quickly on the list. And if not, I am very happy to give my vote to the chair to resolve whatever there is if we're in a funny time situation and need to go forward. We must move. If we apply, and I understand your principles here, Bill. I think you have the answers you've got to go to do what you need to do. I think if we apply letter for letter where you're going, we're going to need three weeks more. And I think we've all exhausted what our edits are. Let's just get this next version out there. If you see a conflict, flag it. I highly doubt you're going to see it. And let's move. At the end, we must get this document out. And we're talking about nitty-gritty stuff. We're not talking about showstoppers here. So let's please like stop and, and, and move on. We really must move, people. Thank you, Paul. Um, yes, please. And then uh, please also uh, make sure to incorporate definition um, that the Paul has uh, suggested as well. And Alan has suggested to put this uh, between abstract um, and uh, zero uh, prototype. And I think that works. So, um, I, so I hope this gives you sufficient guidance. Great. Thank you very much, Bill. Yep. Okay. I'm out of here. Thank you. So um, I think we, we did actually cover most of the parts that I actually wanted to confirm at the call today. So these are the issues that I wanted to confirm. And um, and um, I think, well, we didn't, we actually didn't cover the cover letter language um, uh, before Bill was, uh, Bill left, but um, um, I think this can be, um, I didn't see very um, um, strong um, concern um, on the language of the cover letter. So maybe we can uh, uh, keep it uh, in the way that it is. And if, I've, um, if anybody feel that you strongly need to change this part, I can uh, communicate to Bill um, to change. Uh, Thank you, Nuani. The date needs to be correct. That's true. So uh, I will pass that to Bill. And it's your, on your edit. Excellent. Great. Thank you. 
So I think as long as Bill incorporates all the changes that have been suggested, then I think it should be fine. And um, so, um, so I would like to still um, check the, the timeline that comes up from this. So um, Bill promised that he will send out um, his uh, version 8 at uh, 1530 UTC. And then we will have uh, three hours um, to to see the draft and uh, um, give our um, um, and then I'll point to to Bill if we feel that there's any point that needs to be uh, that was not reflected. So that will be our uh, 1830 UTC and um, so. We initially was talking about uh, Michael uh, ta taking over the pen, but I'm I'm not sure if that is uh, good at this stage. Also good, oh uh, good, Michael. So once Bill sends out eight, I'll take the pen from there, and um, yeah, that would be wonderful. Okay, that, I think that works for everyone. So um. So until 1830, um, you can um, send in comments on what needs to be uh, reflected, but no, nothing new. It's simply to say, hey, my change on this part was not reflected. That's the basic idea about this period uh, until UTC um, 1830. And then, <laughs> well, so Michael, how much time are you from here to... to I, I expect that if everything goes smooth, then it should it, we shouldn't have substantial um, uh, feedback. But uh, we, we may want to be a little bit safe. Um, so, how much time do you think you need uh, to to uh, reflect people's changes? Izumi, I think that um, you know we should be a little bit conservative and give a buffer if needed. I don't imagine there's going to be a ton, and I know that there was talk about the pagination and the removal of the cover letter, which I'm happy to all do. I think that that shouldn't take terribly too long. So um, if we're looking, when is the time that we're planning to send for final submission? Uh, so 23 UTC. So 23 UTC, and, yeah. and if all the deadline is in for 8 by 1830, um, I would say if you give me two hours, you, I mean, that might even be too much, but uh, just to be on the safe side, I would say if two hours uh, yes. from that time. Now, that I caveat that with if there's for some reason some insane number of <laughs> edits, then um, I think that should be good. But, uh, you know, I think that the two hours after the deadline review should be more than enough. And I'll actually try to um, finalize that sooner than that. And then hopefully, at that point, we'll have a finalized document and everybody can can be good to go on it. So, Great. That sounds great. So then we will have a, a final document at uh, 20 or uh, 30 UTC. So that gives you two hours to do this. So um, let's uh, endorse. Uh, so, uh, so my understanding is that we, we do the endorsement at this stage, Michael, um, and um, and whether people are happy with this uh, document. And you have one question to add. So perhaps um, since you're taking on, over the pen um, uh, from this process, um, maybe it's better for you to confirm whatever you want to. And uh, so I'll, I'll let you take over this part. Oh, there's no, I don't really have anything additional uh, except for there is one thing. And perhaps this isn't necessary for our submission because I, I imagine that our submission to the ICG is, is just a clean version that's being submitted to them. But at a later time, we do need to probably consider how we are releasing this to our community because um, the past practice has been, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the past practice has been we've released a clean and redline version as well. Um, I don't have the website in front of me, but that way it was very clear to people what has been um, changed. So I know that we've gone through multiple iterations since the community last saw their draft. So um, I guess the, the one question at some point will be how we how we handle that as well to, to notify the community what changes have been made. But I don't think that is 
essential for today because I think we just need to focus on the ICG submission and we can talk about all the other stuff later. And I did notice that Alan does need a little bit of time to put together the HTML and text versions. So I think what we'll do is is do the same process that we had before with the actual formatting of the documents and then um, and then we can forward on to, to Herman and everything for, for posting as well. So I, I guess the one other question I do have is who is submitting this to the ICG, like who's actually the person that's doing so? Um, my, my understanding was um, it would be me um, um, who will be submitting to the ICG. Okay, I, I see um, um, comment um, and uh, people have no issues um, with myself um, submitting to the ICG. So, um, and then I see the, the crisp uh, mailing list uh, when I submit. So, does that work? Um, okay. So I'll do that, and um, and then I will uh, basically use the same uh, um, language as in the cover letter uh, in, in the email, and then I'll submit this to the ICG. That, that's the plan that I have. And CC or uh, IANA X for the, the global mailing list as well. Yeah, okay, I think that's a good idea. Um, and so both the Chris and the IANA are transfer list. Um, so I'll copy that when I send them. Yep. And um, so this will be done. Um, so UTC 2030, where um, Michael will be ready, and then Alan needs some time to work on the um, HTML and uh, text format, and I believe in our um, secretariat will also need some time to upload on the website. So, um, how much time do you need? Would one hour be enough to um, give you enough time for this? So if um, one hour will be enough, then we can uh, uh, target at uh, 21.30 um, UTC to do this. And then, um, so once all this is out, then I think um, I can send this out to the ICG before 22 UTC. So that's the target. And um, I will send this um, timeline on, on the email, but the idea is that um, Bill will send his uh, version 8 uh, at uh, 1530 UTC, and then you will have three hours to um, con confirm whether Bill's draft reflects the changes that he, you suggested. And then, um, so this will be until uh, 1830 UTC. And then Michael will have two hours until um, 2030 UTC, uh, to incorporate the feedback uh, for the job that includes um, uh, fixing of the format and uh, removal of the cover letter and uh, things like that. Um, so, and then um, uh, in our secretariat and uh, Alan will have one hour until 21.30 UTC to prepare um, HTML text version and uh, upload this on the website. I do want to confirm with the NL Secretariat if this is uh, this works for you or not, because uh, this is very important that they feel comfortable. And I, I would love to hear um, their uh, comment about this. Just to confirm, are you saying that we would receive the, the document for publishing at 22 UTC? Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, you will uh, you will receive.
see the document uh, uh, on at uh, uh, 2030 UTC. Okay, and that's for publishing on the CRISP website? Yes. Yes, I confirm we have no problem okay, with that. So we have one hour until 2130 UTC to publish uh, this on the CRISP on website. And we will uh, receive Perfect. the document by 2030 UTC. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the confirmation. And I think so we're quite to do with this uh, timeline. And then I'd like to um, confirm at what point we will do the endorsement. Um, so um, rationally thinking, I'm not sure if it makes sense to endorse a version 8 coming up from uh, yeah, because people will be expected to give comments. So, um, uh, so when microphones are just version, version 9, um, at 2030 UTC, then I think um, that's the time that um, we, we actually call for um, consensus um, and endorsement for, for this uh, our submission. So just, oh, Alan, you have a hand. I, yes, I'm about the, the time. I, I cannot commit to having the HTML and text versions ready by uh, 2030 UTC. I will be going out this evening. I'll be away from my desk. Understood, Alan. I wonder how um, critical it is to have this prepared. If it's not, then I think this can come out. Uh, later. Um, so if this is agreed by everybody, um, maybe we can just uh, send out the document in um, uh, PDF, have it uploaded, and then we can work on the text and uh, the HTML version one when um, Alan is ready. Uh, I think that would work. I think everybody is agreeing, so uh, let's do this. And so regarding the timing of the endorsement of the document, are we all good to endorse uh, the document uh, when it comes out from, from Michael at uh, 2030 UTC? Um, I'm not hearing any uh, comments. So um, I, I think uh, I assume that people are okay with this, and I do want to double check on the process of how we confirm. And we have said that we will work based on on what consensus, and um, so we, we don't vote. And um, so my yes, exactly. That was my initial assumption. So if there's no objection observed, then we can just to simply. Uh, assuming that people don't have concerns with the the uh, the draft and um, and this is the good of people and so yeah so I think everybody's agreeing so we don't have to make a a formal um, call whether people support this I mean people can express it of course if if you want to I mean that's totally welcome but. Um, um, I, th I, I don't think uh, we need to <coughs> see how how many have expressed support and things like that. So I think everybody is agreeing with Andre. Um, excellent. Um, thank you, Andre. So, um, so we can do this. And uh, so, so we're good um, with the timeline. And I think uh, based on the agenda, so we, we've covered a summary of the common status with outstanding issues, um, definitions, um, and um, announcement um, is something that we haven't uh, covered. I, I sent a draft announcement uh, to the mailing list. It seems nobody has commented. And um, the, I just uh, briefly shared the, the basic element of what it said. 
Uh, so it says that uh, the idea is we, we send out this announcement after we, we submit to the ICG. So we say we're pleased to have submitted, and then uh, we actually explain uh, three uh, key elements that we have incorporated to the second draft, which is uh, the review committee selection process, uh, consulting with the community about the SLA, and, uh, uh, and uh, clarifying about the contract fee. So we explain um, these have been incorporated in the final uh, draft, and um, so, so that's the essence. Um, So, Nurani, yes, that's correct. And uh, to add, so to submission to the ICG, uh, we, we target uh, right after, so it will be before 22 uh, UTC. Thank you very much, Nurani. Very helpful that uh, we have this. And um, so, um, so regarding the announcements, that's a basic message. And um, what I wanted to um, consult you was, I think um, we initially once agreed at our, our, our meeting that uh, we asked for endorsement for our final proposal as well. And this was to uh, in relation to Andrew Stahl's uh, comment. How do we actually uh, confirm community support for the final proposal, not for the, the second version of the proposal? And um, and then I think at that point uh, we actually said maybe we can uh, continue to ask for endorsement or uh, comment to share to uh, confirm a level of uh, uh, support to our proposal. Um, and um, so, so that was the idea. And so we have uh, already submitted, but the ICG members can look at the archives and, uh, and uh, confirm how much support there is expressed. But um, I think there are two sides of this. That's, that's good uh, in concept and, and uh, generally good. But uh, we, we don't want to start whole discussions about our draft again after our submission to the ICG. So um, I, we do want to be very clear in setting community expectations if we do uh, this kind of thing. Yes, exactly. Um, and um, so I'm personally thinking that uh, maybe if we already have uh, uh, significant support expressed for the second version, I'm not really sure if we need uh, additional um, request for endorsement. Uh, what, what do people think? Don't need, yes. Uh, I, I'm personally agreeing. No need, yes, no. No need. So everybody feels no need. So that's uh, that's good that we are, we are in agreement. Um, that's my personal uh, preference as well. So that's why I, I I raised this again to make sure that uh, um, that we, we don't do something that is necessary. So I think we're, we're in clear consensus. We already have uh, uh, the uh, indication of the level of support. So I don't think we need to do this for the final or. Uh, uh, co comment after submission to the ICG. So this was uh, reflected in my announcement uh, tentatively, just in case we want to do this. So I will remove this element, and we'll just simply say we're happy to have our uh, um, have submitted. And we may want to give future timeline uh, for um, for this uh, what happens with this draft. Uh, yes. Um, so, uh, Andre, also uh, we we need to be very careful and clear how we announce this as in our submission or that we have completed submission. Uh, would you be able to uh, clarify a little bit? Yes, I think that's our assumption, right? And I I I I I assume that some people in the community might have a different assumption on on that process. Although I think we were very clear. So I think we need to be very clear and carefully explain why. So, so the, the the submission without additional community review and support is not taken as we ignored community feedback. No, oh, yes, understood. Um, oh, very good point. So, um, so maybe the um, the idea is not necessarily um, reflect um, 
anything in the the announcement maybe, but um, uh, we we should be ready to be able to explain when we are asked by other communities, for example, or the ICG, uh, why we didn't uh, uh, we confirm the consensus uh, from the community for the final version. Um, I think it's uh, very easy to explain the sufficient support, and we actually make sure we consulted about the direction, and um, and we, we didn't even see further discussions on the outstanding issues at the end of our closing uh, period. I think this can be explained in that way, and um, if that uh, works for every everyone, um, we can do this. But um, maybe. It's Slightly related, I think we should um, explain future steps on what's going to happen and uh, what uh, people can expect with the Chris team or uh, Paul. Yes, <clears throat> I agree with you here, Izumi. I think that um, you know we can probably discuss on the mailing list what happens. I think we should just concentrate on getting this out. Um, as fast as we can. I think we will have a grace period of a day where we could get to the communities and explain to them what the next processes are. I don't think that we have earth-shattering time here uh, where anything happens at the ICG at the moment. I do want to raise another point, though, kind of uh, that relates to all of this. Um, I know it's going to be probably difficult in the next couple of hours for you to get uh, everyone's rough consensus. So I like, I really like the idea that Andre brought up where there, if there are no objections and nobody says anything to, anything to the list, then we're assuming that they're happy with, with what's being published. I want to take that one step further. And for myself personally, as part of this team, I can't speak for the others, but uh, for myself personally, Izumi, if we find ourselves in a tight spot and you need to deliver this thing on time, because I think that's a very important message that would come from the RAR community, and I think one with which we can all subscribe to. I am more than happy for you to take over as chair and submit the document you think is the best document that needs to go in the time frame we have to be on time for the ICG. I trust you, you're the chair, you have followed every single one of these processes, and in my opinion, Nothing that we're adding here is a showstopper or that would make this document any less relevant to both the ICG or the NTIA. So I am giving you that vote now, Izumi. If you need to move and you need to make these decisions and you can't get a hold of every single person here, myself, I'm speaking for myself, I will give you that, that, that vote to go ahead and get this in on time to the best of what you've got. Thank you very much for expressing this. Um, uh, this and um, so um, and Alan for agreeing. Um, and um, yes, uh, so I think I we ha we have to make sure we submit the document. We covered most uh, major points, and um, so thank you very much. Uh, I very much appreciate this. And um, thank you, Narani, Craig, and everybody. Oh, thank you so much for this uh, expression. This, uh, this. So I, I will take a note in case any last minute uh, um, some sort of um, unexpected things, which I, I hope will not happen. Um, and then um, one more thing I'd like to cover um, is issues list. We've been um, 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 doing this uh, for all the past uh, um, proposals. I would like to do this as well for this uh, proposal as well for for the final version as well. But I'm not sure if we have time for this, and I would like to um, concentrate on on developing the proposal and make sure we, we submit the proposal. So I personally would like to um, suggest maybe we, we work on the issues list uh, uh, after we publish uh, and submit the proposal to the ICG if we have you know, sufficient time to work on it. And I think it can be uploaded on NRO website later. It still wouldn't lose value, and it's not like people have to make further comments immediately except for ICG people, but I don't think they, they need the latest uh, updated issues list at the time of the submission. So that's uh, that's what I suggest uh, with about the issues list. <coughs> Excuse me. So 
I'm not seeing any hands, so. <coughs> so I think we're good with this. And <coughs> so I think we've covered all the <coughs> topics um, that I, I wanted to cover. So we we reconfirmed about the, <coughs> the pen and the timeline as well. So um, anything else you would like to confirm at this stage? <coughs> Not hearing any comments. And I, I think we did have heated discussions at early at the call, but I'm personally generally um, observing we, we actually don't have major issues remaining uh, for our draft. Um, and from Nurani. I just wanted to say, since this will be our last telephone conference, um, Izumi, I think you've done a fantastic job in chairing this group. We've had many, many difficult and passionate discussions, uh, but you've managed to steer us all forward and make them very constructive. Uh, I think you've done an amazing job. You have my full support and confidence. Uh, and I just wanted to say that I very, very much appreciate your work here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nurani. That's really sweet of you to say that. But as I express in the minutes, I feel I'm just so supported by everybody on the team. And also, Alan, of course, you know, you have been uh, very closely keeping track of all the document uh, versions and, uh, you know, uh, keeping, uh, making sure everybody's comment and, and uh, things like this. And uh, for the early discussions, you, you know, I also, I heard, uh, heard a lot of um, comments uh, um, from the Chris team members trying to um, drive things in a positive way. So um, thank you very much. But I, I really uh, um, um, feel I'm supported by the team, and we have, I think we have such a great team. So um, we're still not over our submission. So um, uh, let's uh, continue to work. And um, well, we, we have a, a opportunity to meet up, but hopefully most of you can make it to um, to Singapore. I, I'm not sure if I get a chance to meet Wanda, Nika, why I'm but um, I will never see you in some other IRR meeting. And uh, uh, and um, <laughs> um. Yes, great. So, yeah, I, I really had a good time, and it was still not over, so let's uh, concentrate on work as well. So, yeah, no call tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, yeah. yeah, you keep on thinking that you'll, meet. you'll be missing a call, right? Yeah, okay. So um, thank you all very much, and um, so, um, so if this is the last, uh, so if anybody has anything to say, but I think we have time for, we don't have time for all members to express things, so maybe you can express on the mailing list uh, if you want. Yeah. So yeah. So um, so hopefully we can uh, let's make sure we can we make it in time for the submission, and then. Um, so, and see you in some uh, meeting face to face, uh, some of you. So, the meeting is uh, adjourned now. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>